I myself am an immigrant. I was born and raised in Michoacán, Mexico. I'm the oldest of four girls. My dad was blessed to have four women, and by the time the last one was born, he was already bald with lots of gray hair left, a little bit of it. He's a blessed man, by the way. Um, we came to the US when I was 15 years old. I started working at a factory from 7 in the morning till 3 p.m., and I also worked the night shift at a radio station from midnight to 5 in the morning. We had to work, and I had to help my parents to try to achieve what we had to do in this country. As you can see, when I was 15 and you're in a new country, you don't really pay attention to what you want to become in the future. You're just trying to help your parents. And that was my goal. I was just trying to make some money and help my mom. So it was a very um, pivotal moment when one of the nights, maybe two months into my ordeal of working at the radio station and trying to not fall asleep, I finally answered a phone call. And um, there was this voice on the other line saying that I was the only friend that she had. She must have been around 25, 30 years old, a woman. And her voice was breaking when I picked up the phone. And she said, I just want you to know that you're the only person that I listen to. You're my only friend. And I really need you to talk to me so that I can make decisions in my life. I'm pregnant. I kind of fear for my baby's life and my health because my husband beats me. Beats me. And I don't think um, I'll be able to survive if I don't make a right decision with my life. Of course, she was crying. At that moment, I woke up. I'm not falling asleep anymore. And I realized within the shock of listening to her that what I had in front of me, which is what I have in front right now, and we all do, the microphone is not a privilege. It was not just a source of income, the way we all see it sometimes, our jobs. It is a responsibility. And I mean a moral responsibility that we can definitely make a difference in other people's lives. At 15, of course, it was a little bit of an expected moment for me to realize that such an important tool that we have at Univision to try to inform people and to try to make them understand within their own power, within their own voice and language, make informed decisions.